All right, Prairie Wind here with uh, a little product report. Just bought a new toy here for a little uh, alternative energy testing on Amazon, although uh, a couple sellers sell it. This is basically a version of the kilowatt um, uh, power meter. Plug in um, a device to track its power consumption. But uh, a number of folks uh, use these, of course, for their alternative energy, um, or the kilowatts anyway, because it'll run in reverse, if you will, and uh, track your generation. So I was hoping this would be the same. Pretty cheap, between 17 and 25 bucks. Uh, a lot of versions of this on eBay as well. Let's take a look at it. Got it uh, right next here to the kilowatt. You can see it's a lot bigger, a larger display. And it's a multi-display. Right now it's showing current watts being produced. This is by my uh, high energy wind turbine on a nice windy day. Not crazy windy, but producing some decent, decent watts, pretty gusty. Uh, at the top there you can see that's the elapsed time since uh, it was powered up. Let's scroll through the functions here. You can see you can do a reset on there. I won't be using a fair amount of this, but uh, you click over, and this right here is the main reason I got this, um, is to have a more precise cumulative kilowatt hour tracking. Uh, the uh, um, kilowatt only goes out to, uh, I believe it's tenth of a kilowatt hour. Um, let's see here. That goes out to 100. I wanted something a little more precise, uh, mainly for testing different configurations. Assuming you've got a day with somewhat constant wind, which I know is quite an assumption, um, and you wanted to test a couple of configurations, maybe even some different blades, um, this allows you to uh, be a little bit more precise and not have to run your system over so much uh, greater amount of time to get a registered reading there. So taking it out here um, allows me to be a little more precise in terms of the actual uh, watt hours being generated. So that's really nice. So uh, since I've uh, been running about an hour and a half, scrolling through the functions here, is it volts, amps, low watts, high watts, kind of a nice feature. And we're back to the watt setting. But as I said, my primary reason was to have something like the kilowatt, but that was a little more precise in terms of the watt hour calibration, so uh, I wouldn't have to run it quite as long. The longer you run it, the greater chance you know, you've know you got of maybe having some different wind conditions, so you're not really comparing to apples to apples. So uh, in my case, a couple of fellow uh, wind fans out there been designing and putting together some wind switches and so trying different grid tie inverter combinations uh, to see what the output is something like this will allow me to more precisely track the uh, output um, as I'm testing different configurations like I said that assumes you're getting relatively constant wind and some days I'll have that, and obviously on a day like today, not so much, but uh, it's nice to have that precision there. So uh, we will see. I think the main concern, I guess, I have durability. I guess we'll wait and see. Kilowatt seems to have a pretty good record. I've had a couple of mine around for many years. They seem pretty bulletproof. The construction build on this is a little flimsier, but I mean, uh, certainly not awful. Um, bigger display, slightly although it's not quite the contrast uh, as the kilowatt. Um, but I think the spec said that the uh, precision uh, was not as good on this one, that uh, varied um, plus or minus 5% accuracy, where I thought the kilowatt was under 1%. So there are probably some folks out there with some testing tools that can confirm that. So that's certainly a concern, I suppose. Uh, and durability, long-term durability, we'll have to see. But uh, for something like this, um, assuming the um, accuracy uh, stayed constant in terms of the type of accuracy, if you're just comparing uh, output 
uh, between one configuration and another, I guess you're not really that concerned, uh, you know, about the accuracy as long as it's stable and the kind of mistake that it's making because it would make it for both configurations. But if you are more concerned about using it for accurate, uh, you know, power tracking and all that might be more of a concern. But uh, in any case, uh, something for folks to consider. Certainly the price is right, um, and even if it doesn't last all that long at, you know, around 20 bucks or less to replace, um, that uh, definitely doesn't, um, you know, makes it a little easier to uh, replace it. So, signing off for now.